Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to another edition of Scientifics where we bring you the top science stories of the week from across the globe. The planet Mars may have had a ring billions of years ago, according to scientists at the SETI Institute and Purdue University. The scientists claim that the theory is the only explanation to the unusually tilted orbit of the red planet's moon Deimos. While some of the more massive planets in our solar system have giant rings and numerous big moons, Mars only has two small moons, Phobos and Deimos, both of which have peculiar orbits. It was long believed that the Mars' moons must have formed at the same time as the red planet. However, the orbit of Deimos, which is tilted by 2 degrees, suggests otherwise. The team now suggests that over billions of years, generations of Martian moons were destroyed into rings. Each time, the ring would then give rise to a new moon and this cycle keeps repeating. The inner moon Phobos is losing height as its tiny gravity is interacting with the looming Martian globe. Phobos' orbit will eventually drop too low and be pulled apart to make a ring around the planet. Also in space news this week, scientists have mapped the shape of the magnetic field of the solar corona with higher spatial resolution and over a larger area than ever before. For the study, researchers used images of the corona taken during 14 eclipses over the past two decades. The research helped track the changes in the sun's corona over two 11-year magnetic cycles. The corona is most easily seen during a total solar eclipse when the moon blocks the bright surface of the sun. Meanwhile on Earth, scientists predict that mangroves will not be able to survive rising sea levels by 2050 if the global carbon emissions are not reduced. The team from Singapore looked at sedimentary data from when the Earth underwent a warming spell that melted glaciers up to 10,000 years ago. The team estimated the probability of mangroves surviving under two climate scenarios, low and high carbon emissions. If the world continues under the high emission scenarios, the sea level rise is likely to exceed 6 mm per year. Under this scenario, there is a 90% probability that mangroves will stop growing at the required pace by 2050. However, if sea level rise remains under 5 mm per year as projected under the low emission scenario, mangroves can survive by building themselves up vertically. Meanwhile, scientists have discovered the fossilized remains of the stomach contents of an armored dinosaur that possibly met an untimely death while eating its last meal 110 million years ago. The fossil of the dinosaur was so well preserved that scientists were able to identify the traces of the cellular structure of the leaves and intact spores that it ate. Such direct evidence of an ancient extinct animal being a herbivore is very rare. Usually scientists use indirect data from tooth and jaws of fossils to understand the diet of the prehistoric creatures. This is Mohana Basu for the print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates.